Hello and welcome to Module 2 of the Easy E4 series, Product Features and Functions of the Easy E4. In the following, I provide an overview of the product features of the Easy E4. I explain the hardware structure of the base device, show the expansion and networking options, and give an overview for what the microSD card can be used for. Furthermore, I explain the functions of the display and the many possibilities that are available with Easy E4 via Ethernet. Product Features The Easy E4 is available in three different voltage variants. SAC variant for 100 to 240 volt AC and 110 to 220 volt DC, SUC variant for 12 or 24 volt DC and 24 volt AC, or SDC variant for 24 volt DC. Up to 11 local expansions can be attached to one base device, what is offering maximum flexibility. This means that up to 188 inputs and outputs on one Easy E4 base device with expansion units can cover a wide range of applications. Furthermore, it is also possible to connect up to 8 Easy E4 units in a net group. In terms of expandability, there are unlimited combinations of base devices with expansion modules. These can be freely mixed with each other. Fast inputs and interrupt features enable fast event recognition and rapid response times. With the Easy E4, it is possible to create your own user function blocks, which can be used over and over again in all of your projects. Easy E4 can be programmed in four programming languages. Simply select the one you prefer – ladder diagram, function block diagram, the well-known easy device programming or structured text. An active DCF77 antenna or the simple network time protocol, SNTP in short, enable highly precise date and time indication. Ethernet on board offers a wide range of communication options. There are various display and visualization options with the integrated display, or remote with the Easy E4 remote touch display, or the XV100 touch display for Easy E4. Bidirectional communication with devices in the field via Modbus TCP and the Smart via DT communication module is possible. The Easy E4 has an integrated web server for visualization, automatic information via email, and control of your plant. There is also an integrated JSON API interface for using Easy E4 in various automation systems. The Easy E4 devices can of course be used worldwide due to all necessary approvals. What is the hardware structure of the base device? The terminals for the power supply are located at the top left of the base device. The connection terminals of the eight inputs follow. The first four inputs, I1 to I4, are digital inputs. These can also be used as fast inputs for incremental value counters up to 5 kHz, frequency encounters up to 5 kHz or high-speed counters up to 10 kHz. The inputs I5 to I8 are also digital inputs, but they can also be used as analog inputs, 0 to 10 volt with a resolution of 12 bit. With the AC device variants, it must be noted that inputs and power supply should have the same phase, otherwise input signals may not be recognized. The four digital outputs Q1 to Q4 are located at the bottom of the device, either as transistor or relay outputs. For device variants with transistor outputs, these must be supplied with voltage via the terminals at the bottom left of the device. The interface for connecting communication modules, for example for SmartWire DT, is located on the left-hand side of the EZD4 base unit front panel. On the right-hand front is the interface for connecting input and output expansions. The slot for the microSD card is located next to the display on the left-hand side of the housing front. 
the interface for connecting to Ethernet, which is also used for programming and connection to the net, is located under the keypad. Terminals. There are two different device variants in the ECE4 range with regard to the connection terminals. All ECE4 base devices and expansion modules are available with either screw or push-in terminals. The advantages of the push-in terminals are simple and quick installation of the control cables, tool-free wiring minimizes time and costs, safe against vibrations, maintenance-free in use, full flexibility for users. Expandability. With the various in and output expansions of the ECE4 range, the number of inputs and outputs can be easily adapted to the application. Up to 11 expansion devices can be connected to one base device. This means that with a maximum digital expansion, 69 digital inputs and 92 digital outputs can be used, or in analog terms, 48 analog inputs and 22 analog outputs. The combination is very compact to save space and costs in the control cabinet. Of course, the expansions can be combined in any way to adapt the control relay to the requirements of the application in the best possible way. Each expansion device can be combined with any base device. Mixing the different voltage variants is possible in a very flexible way. A new connector is used to connect the expansion to the base unit, which is plugged in at the front. The pulling apart known from the older EASY models when replacing the expansion device is no longer necessary. A total of 8 expansions are available, 6 digital ones in the voltage variants AC, UC and DC, one expansion each with 4 in and outputs or 8 in and outputs. For DC there is an analog module with 4 analog inputs and 2 analog outputs. For 0 to 10 volt, 0 or 4 to 20 milliamps and a temperature module for PT100, PT1000 and Nickel1000. Both modules with a resolution of 12 bit. Networkability or NET up to 8 ECE4 devices can be networked and communicate with each other via the Ethernet and NET interface in a NET group, the so-called cluster. NET is Ethernet UDP-based communication between the ECE4 devices. As the EasyNet of the old ECE800 device series is based on CAN-based communication, devices of the ECE800 and ECE4 series cannot be physically connected to each other. However, the new NET has the same program handling as the old EasyNet and uses the familiar NET operands for data exchange. Direct communication of the devices between the clusters is not possible. If communication is to take place between the clusters, a coordinator must be used, for example, a PLC, which controls the communication using Modbus TCP. A total of 10 clusters with 8 ECE4 devices each can be operated in an Ethernet network. 8 ECE4 devices with net communication are able to process 768 digital in and 736 digital outputs. MicroSD card. The memory card of the ECE4 can be used for the following functions in addition to the function of transferring programs and saving user programs. To automatically boot a startup program from the memory card. A startup program can be defined that is copied to the device and executed when the ECE4 is started. The current program is overwritten. For data logging, either as a circular logger that means, after writing to the maximum memory space, the oldest entries are overwritten. Or, as a file logger, that means logging until the maximum memory is reached. Firmware updates for base and expansion devices can be performed using the memory card. A startup graphic can be saved as boot mitmap and displayed at the device startup. 
The memory card can be used to reset the ECE4 to the factory settings. MicroSD cards with 128MB to 32GB are supported by the ECE4. A microSD card with 2GB is available as an accessory. Display The display of the ECE4 allows as number of characters 6 lines with 16 letters each. The graphical user interface can be customized in the EasySoft 7 programming software and offers the option of visualizing parameters and bar graphs in addition to texts and values. The display is monochrome and backlighted in white. However, the backlighting can also be changed to red or green, for example to indicate the operating status or alarms. The brightness is of course adjustable. Ethernet. As already mentioned, all communication with EZE4 runs via Ethernet. It is used for programming the device via EZSoft 7 or as we have seen for networking EZE4 devices in a netgroup. Modbus TCP can be used for communication with other devices. Since it is standard Ethernet, all common Ethernet products such as switches, routers, or visualization devices like the XV102, the Easy Remote Touch Display and other devices can be used. The connection to the Internet enables additional functions such as sending emails, web server functionality or HTML5 pages. The integrated EZE4 web server can be used for device configuration or system status queries or to show the device display. The ECE4 JSON API enables the integration of the ECE4 into existing IT systems such as Node-RED or external websites. I hope I have given you a good overview of the product features and functions of the ECE4. For more information, please visit www.eaton.com. Thank you for your attention. Following this video, I recommend Module 3, in which I introduce you to the ECE4 product range.